You know, I think this coronavirus outbreak is serious. Just look at the Dow. It's down nearly 1,000 points again today. But the turmoil over the last couple of weeks has taken up all the auction, making it hard to focus on some exciting stories that are in bull mode. Take Sangamo Therapeutics. It's an early-stage biotech focused on gene therapy, genome editing, and gene regulation. These are technologies that could potentially transform the entire healthcare industry regardless of corona. Now, late last week, Sangamo and Biogen announced that they partnered to develop gene regulation therapies for some terrible neuromuscular and neurological diseases, including Alzheimer's, maybe Parkinson's. Alzheimer's in particular is the white whale of the pharmaceutical industry. Nobody's come up with a workable cure yet. But if they do, it's going to be a game changer. And that's why Sangamo stock jumped 28% last Friday when the news of these collaborations, and I bet it might have even further to go if things work out, obviously, and if the, if the market weren't so awful. So let's dig deeper with Mr. Sandy McRae. He is the CEO of Sangamo Therapeutics to learn more about his company and the exciting new partnership with Biogen. Mr. McRae, welcome to Mad Money. Good afternoon. Okay, so Sandy, just so you know, six years ago we had uh, Sangamo on the show. And I kind of want to reintroduce your company because it's been a long journey. What have you been up to? So Sango is like two companies. As you say, we've been around for 25 years. But when we started, there wasn't even an ability to sequence a human genome. And in that time, Sango pioneered the first ever editing of human cells, the first ever editing in a human. And then I took over four years ago. And we're like a startup based on an old technology and a technology that's proven and trusted. Well, let's talk about the partnership that was taught that uh, you, you really this transformational part that was announced last week. It seems to me that you one kind of de risk the company, but two kept as much as, say, six billion dollars in upside if things work out. How did you get such a magnificent deal? Um, it is a good deal. It's a really good deal. And it's easy to talk about the economics. But for a company like us where we can um, change or, or interact with any part of your, your DNA, your human, your 20,000 genes that you have, we can't do it alone. And we don't have the biologists and, and doctors to take it forward. So what we like is that that's what Biogen's expert at. Right. They needed the technology that we could give. We needed the expertise that they could give. And it was a competitive process. So there was five companies involved in it. And that's what results in, in the economics that you see. Now, a lot of this is up front. I mean, you're getting Sometimes you see these deals and they sound big, but it's really more in the ad years. Right up front, you got a lot, didn't you? Yeah, that's, it's remarkable. We get uh, 125 in upfront cash and then 225 in uh, equity at a 25% at a premium. And that is really unusual. For, for two of the 12 assets that they're, they're licensing, we've done some work. The rest are just uh, genes that they would like us to look at. So this is a remarkable amount of money for things that we haven't even done any experiments on yet. Yeah, but I think, but yeah. the reason for the reason, if I made the reason for that is when, when all of the scientists from all of the companies came and they looked at our signs and they saw what we could do, they were so excited. And so it's a real validation of the, of the Sangamo platform. And, and I would argue an example of other deals that we will do. I think it's important to point out, as it was in the conference call February 28th, that you are just now, uh, you will be recruiting patients throughout 2020. I think there was uh, people under the impression that perhaps uh, it's already uh, started, but that's something that's ongoing right now, right? You've got an uh, institutional review board and you're trying to figure out what the different protocols are? So the, the uh, clinical studies for Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease will be run by Biogen, and those will happen um, uh, two or three years from now. So, it's, so these are preclinical assets. But Biogen are excited by the potential of this because what it does is it turns off what people believe is one of the most potential causes of Alzheimer's right at the source, right turns off the gene. And so uh, if this works, it offers great hope for the 5 million patients with Alzheimer's and the many patients with Parkinson's disease. Uh, let me ask you something, Sandy. You, you know, obviously the whole country is, is gripped and the whole world is gripped now with something that I, I know you're not the expert on, but uh, which is this COVID-19. But the thing is, is that if you can work on the toughest thing that people have always said is no hope, which is on uh, for Alzheimer's, don't you think it's possible that some of the great scientists in the world you know might be able to come up with something that makes it so that there are fewer deaths for this uh, influenza? 
I, I think that's a, a very fair challenge. And I, you know, I'm a doctor, and I sit on the board of Biode, which is the, the industry association of companies like ours, and we take it really seriously. Now, our technology is not the right one for, the, for this virus, and our job is to get out of the way and let others do it. But Bio's taking it very seriously and applying all of our different technologies across the board in Bio to try and find a way forward. Uh, vaccines will be the way forward in the near term, but uh, applying the full innovation that is part of the American biotechnology uh, ecosphere is really important to, to help with this. All right, well, I'm going to leave there it on that. There will be a solution. Okay, I'm, will be a solution. I'm going to leave it on that because all day today and all day, all last week, I've heard there can be no solution. And there's some, you're someone who is a lot more thoughtful about these issues than a lot of people I talk to. Sandy McRae, Sangamo Therapeutics. Thank you so much, sir. My pleasure. Now, I always say that it's, that it's possible to own something that could be very, very big that's speculative. I'm the only person on TV or anywhere else that thinks that it's okay to put some of your money in speculation. You see why? Because somebody like Sandy McRae and a company like Sangamo Therapeutics, their money's back in Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.